Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. And yeah, here we are in Ulda. Because there's another event going on right now. And that begins at this poor healed youth. Complete game changer. Ah, how could I have lost? My strategy was foolproof. Listen, friend, if you have an inclination to the Lord of a Million game at the Gold Saucer, I'd say you best think twice. I spent a fortune on my critters and had scores of victories to boast. When some newcomer waltzed up and challenged me, I knew there was something strange about him. An aura with hair of vibrant hue glint in his eyes, called himself a Mondoan executive or some such. Still, I'm not one to turn down a match, nervous or veteran. Hell, they even gave him a head start. But the minions he used, they weren't like any I have ever seen before. They were demons, I tell you. I accused him of cheating, but he said he petitioned the gold saucer to use them in battle. And the little buggers were approved. Needless to say, my beloved team was torn to shreds every time. Seems like anything qualifies these days. I've completely lost my appetite for the game. But if you're curious about these so-called minions, you should head over to the gold source and take a look yourself. He was still loitering around there when I left. Yeah, that is the Yokai Watch collaboration event. Which we need to go to the gold saucer. There's a wandering executive. Can I help you? I suppose we have gotten around about this little fellow. Would be delighted to tell you about him, truly, but I'm afraid I'm preoccupied at the moment. I'm waiting for someone who is unreasonably wait. Wait, now that I think about it, you're an adventurer, aren't you? Alternatively, I may have a proposition for you. If you help me out, I will tell you more about my feline friend here. Do you accept? So, oh. and the deal struck. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a tradesman come from be far beyond the borders of Eorzea. Though I am slave to Wanderlust, I occasionally return to my homeland where I manage a sizable company that deals in eccentric commodities. Thus the locals called me the Wandering Executive, and I wear the title with pride. I'm often accompanied by a, an erudite traveling companion, but he appears to have gotten quite lost on his journey. We were strolling the twilight of a black shroud when he grew excited and scampered off to do some sightseeing of his own. He was aware I had some affairs to take care of here, so I thought to let him enjoy himself while I finished with my task and stayed in one spot. But he hasn't shown up in hours. Perhaps he could ask around Brent Ben Branch for, for me and find out what's keeping him? Oh, I almost forgot to mention. My friend is not of my tribe. He's a round-towned little soul. White as snow and floats through the air like a cloud. Except if clouds could speak, I would hope they wouldn't be as long when it is he. This is the little cat fellow, he means. Oh. And let's ask about Bent Branch. Sounds like a Mugu, sure enough. Quite as a mouse when we are tidying, but once they reveal themselves, they never stop chattering. The one I saw a few nights ago was hundreds of yards away. I could still hear his voice. I was peering off into the distance when we're between the boughs of the trees, and I sighted a well dressed aura traveler with fiery violet hair and a Mugu flying beside him. It was a strange sight if I do say so myself. A Mugu, huh? I 
haven't seen anything like that, but it seems too coincidental. It was talking with Dania recently about an unnatural being that was disturbing the elementals. The patches were saying they had never seen a spirit like it and feared it would taint the Twelfth Sword. The Sizia Uapesi himself sealed it away near the Guardian Tree. Sealed, huh? So maybe we need to get him out there. What? Round, white, and floats through the air? Are you sure it's a person? Because I'd say you're searching for one of the Moogles. In any case, you'd be out of luck. They appear only when they want to be seen. Okay, then. The only thing that you heard about the concrete place is the Guardian Tree. A gentle breeze rustles through the leaves of the Guardian Tree as the antiquated stone vessel sits unmoving underneath. Nevertheless, we cannot help but feel a shiver up your spine. Okay. That kinda looks out of place here. That also looks out of place here. Ah, you freed me. Much appreciated, much appreciated indeed. But where are my manners? Whisper at your server. This. I'm Whisper at your service. I'm a yokai. A supernatural being. I know, I know. You're wondering why I was in that spooky stone capsule. I was floating along, taking the scenery when night fell and I lost sight of a path. I wandered until I came across a small boy and asked him how to return to Bent Branch. But that self-righteous horned child declared me an unnatural presence in the forest and locked me away. Oh, I was so horribly cramped. Why would he do such a thing to an innocent visitor to his lands? I never said I was an evil supernatural being. I was defenseless, I tell you. Utterly defenseless, unwary, vulnerable. Um. Anyway, I happen to come from a tribe of yokai who knows how to reward their liberators properly, and therefore I have a gift to bestow upon you, my new corporeal friend. Here. A very impressive device is called a Yokai Watch. It will allow you to encounter other supernatural beings like myself. And with that on your wrist, the mundane will become magnificent. All oh, the unbelievable things you'll see with that watch. If it went broken. Now, now, I do not think I would give my savior a watch entirely beyond repair. It's just that I had not found someone worthy enough for a long time. My friend has been meaning to take a look at it, but... Yeah, he's been looking for you. Yes, that's him, alright. He sent you to rescue me? Splendid, splendid. So he was waiting for me at the gold saucer, was he? Had I not gotten lost and put in a precarious position, I should already have set off for the desert at once. Let us depart without delay. If you give a watch to him when we arrive, I'm sure he will repair it for you. And then it will allow you to encounter unbelievable beings like myself. Whisper. Whisper explained everything that transpired. What luck you were to able to find my friend. Had you not, I would never have known he'd been still inside that vessel. You have my sincerest gratitude. He told me you had something to show me as well. This broken yokai watch. Oh, 
I see. So he decided to give you the yokai watch. A broken yokai watch, rather. However, there's no need to worry. Whatever my spirited companion did to it appears to be completely reparable. Wait a moment while I get out my tools. Mm, let's see, and gem the slot. Set that hand back a couple of ticks. Polish up the face and... Success. Your watch is now in excellent shape. Go on, take it. And a bargain is a bargain. You wish to know about my mysterious minions here? Yes? I'm certain Whisper mentioned the yokai to you. I brought a handful of these supernatural beings with me from my homeland. Like Whisper, this face the feline is also a yokai, but from a different tribe. Some yokai grow to be quite friendly once you get to know once they get to know you. Others, however, are mischievous and to blame for otherwise inexplicable happenings. If you wish, I can introduce you to the more aff affable ones I've brought. Should the yokai warm up to you? They become stalwart allies who can who you can summon to fight at your command. Well at the gold saucer anyway. But there's a slight caveat. I cannot accept the Eorzean currency for my services. I deal primarily in yokai medals. I'm feeling generous since you helped me retrieve Whisper, so I give you one for free. To obtain more, well, that's where your yokai watch will come in, come in handy. Should you chance upon certain fateful happenings, put the watch on your wrist and you shall be rewarded for your meritorious deeds. In addition to the yokai, I've also bought other wares which may interest an interest to an adventurer like you. Exotic weapons specially designed by the fine artisans of my company. We accept legendary medals as payment for these weapons. Here. Should our weapons suit your tastes, this yokai medallion will prove useful in explaining that you can obtain the necessary legendary medals for each weapon. A bit of an inconvenience, I know, but it would be ter I would be a terrible businessman if I simply gave our wares away for free. Whew, whispers long windedness is, is starting to rub off on me. Feel free to speak with me about the yokai and the weapons at your leisure. I still have a few loose ends to tie up here at the gold saucer, so trust that I won't be wandering for a while. Oh, and my ne real name is Nohi. Yes, Nohi. Glad to finally make your acquaintance. Yokai medals are si a symbol of entering a sacred bond. More than a friendship, more than a marriage. With a yokai watch, you will be able to gain those medals. I told you that it would allow you to encounter unbelievable beings, didn't I? Collection expand. Yokai medallion acquired. Yokai medals can be obtained by completing fates while equipped with a yokai watch. Uh, Black Shroud. All of them. Nanosea is all but Eastern. Western, Eastern, Southern. So not Northern. And Central. Western Central Highlands. Crawford Western Highlands. Sea of Clouds, Dvanian Forelands, Churning Mist, Dvanian Hinterlands, so not Azislav. Ah, now Azislav, the Fringes, Peaks, Locks, Miso, Yangsha, Azim, Step. Legendary met medals can be obtained, but at a low probability, not that low in my opinion, by participating in fates in areas designated in the Yokai Medallion, while accompanied by the Yokai Minion designated to the medal. Want a weapon? Look which medals you need. You should use Lord Ananda for that match. So you need to have that minion.
get you acquainted then. Meet your new friend, Lord Ananta. I hope you two will get along. We need to... Uh, where is it now? We need to use the minion. And you can... In the menu men... Minion menu. I, you have now opened the Yokai Medallion. You have here a set of areas. Curfant, Western Highlands, Gravanian Forelands, Internet Journey, Misty of Clouds, Azufla. So, everywhere in the Heaven's Ward areas. Minion. It's a rarely used minion. Need to look for your new minion friend. Summon them and then do fades in the designated areas while you have the Yokai Watch equipped. Any fade is fine. Um, you get definitely you get the Yokai Medal for, to get more minions, and you have a chance when you have a minion out to get these legendary medals. For the minion. And these you can exchange for the weapons. Oh, that's basically it. Not particularly spectacular. And while this event is going on, you will have a freaking legion of players doing fades everywhere. Maybe look for a group to be faced with together, right? Where we get one Lord Nanta medal and the Yok and the Yoka medal. The no Lord, the legendary medals don't always drop, but well, this time it is it. Apparently, there's a big position.
I get another Lord and Anthem medal. For the first uh, weapon you get, you need to five medals. For every following, you need ten. So, yeah, I think that is enough for this event. The rest is just fate grinding to get the weapons. Until next time, we we'll play more Final Fantasy XIV. I am Mace and don't get lost.